All right, nation. I'm there again, you know. More information, more saga. Them say, everybody are expert off of the fact. And holy power, holy power, I will recall Monday morning quarterback. <laughs> In other words, after something happened, all of we know what we should have do. If we don't make it happen. You get me, I say. But you know, say before it happened, it's a different reality, though. <laughs> but having said all of that, though, as more info continue to emerge about this Usain Bolt missing million saga, you know, say, there were enough red flags with the company SSL for Bolt and the management team know better and take away the money before this happened. Now that it happened, and we are here about. The, 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 the chronology of events and what happened with this particular company in terms of due diligence for people should do when you invest them kind of money there. We have to do the little Monday morning quarterback in panic. You see the company at the center, the heart of the controversy. It's a company where they bought from 1973, you know. And one of the oldest companies of its sort in Jamaica. Investment kind of company. Proliferation of them now off the chart. You know, every minute you hear about another one from whole lot of people have break off. We used to work in a, in a, in a various a, 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 a them company, a branch up and start them own. Similar services, basically. Thriving sector. But as with every thriving sector, you know, there comes a point when it's as if enough space and enough clientele you know, in the sector for maintain all of them. That's why them kind of something happened. But anyway, that aside though. This particular company in question, SSL, you know, say, the regulatory body, the FSC, the Financial Services Commission, you know, say, they, they basically are supervised the running of that company for many, many years because of procedural irregularities and a failure to meet certain mandated stipulations as it relates to the running of a company of this nature. Eh? Any company where you see the FSC, the Financial Services Commission, of a, a, a monitor like that, you know, say, that in and of itself, right, so, is a big red flag, you know. Especially when you are talking about people with millions of dollars, like where you see in Bolt have night. And the other clients, them, of course. But as, it, as, it, as things are unfolding now, it looked like definitely by far UCN Bolt investment and the, the money we get we miss up. UCN Bolt money are the, mo the most of the money they are UCN Bolt money. I may say, I know at least two individuals personally, obviously, I'm not going to call name. Right? That when that thing happened, I kind of touch base with some people and talk to some people and Ray and Tay. And at least two individuals. Fairly prominent individuals. Me never want to go further than that. <laughs> See? But when me talk to them, you know what them tell me, say? They had some money in this company. Yeah. But when the thing come up, the irregularities come up, the procedural irregularities, and you have a lot of top executives where you're so in the company, where leave the company, and then you have... A, 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 one of the, the, the director's son who was part of the company. I think him did have left the company too. These were too many red flags. And my friend them, my associates them, tell me, say, all of them something make them move their money. No, it goes right back now to the UCN Bolt team and how pragmatic and especially how vigilant they were in terms of Staying on top of things in terms of this level of investment. This money I was supposed to be bought. It's bought pension fund, you know. So it was not invested as a high risk. It, at, a, at a high risk. Because you know when you put them kind of money in a them company, there's a risk threshold where you them categorize you in terms of where you want to do with your money, you know. How much risk you want to take with your money, you know. This was a pension. It's a pension money board put on yourself, you know. A piece of food when put up, we say, all right, this, I'm a pension. We don't have trouble the money, we don't have risk the money, we don't have put on the money, and it's going to grow for me, and this is going to be a pension for me and my family. And that me understand, said, a piece of food, yeah, we both put on was all about it. You know? 
and may I say, when you put on a kind of money, I, got, I remember says over 10 years, Bolt I invest with them, you know. And basically, since Bolt put on the money with the company, him not trouble the money, you know. Because as me say, he might make him money, and this time pension money. So he not trouble his money. So this was the perfect father, you know. For people, dip them on in the till, you know. And that happened, you know. But as me say now, in terms of the due diligence and the pragmatism and being vigilant, as a Monday morning quarterback, and when you look back on it and the other people when we talk to surrounding the situation and so there were other people who picked up the red flags, you know, and see the red flags, you know, and acted up on the red flag, you know, and take out the money, you know. Me talk to at least one financial expert who tell me, say, he was harshly critical about it. Harshly critical about him, say, Bolt and the people them should have known about better. So, there were too many signs and signals and instability and blatant red flags for Bolt them don't see say, something wrong with the company yeah. and at least move piece of the money and put half of the portfolio elsewhere. Similar pension fund, but put it for portfolio elsewhere. Or, like some other people, move out the whole of the money. But again, it's not Bolt alone still. Is that Bolt alone get by it? You know, we are focused on Bolt because Bolt are the superstar and Bolt name is, is prominent in the whole saga. But it's not Bolt alone. Other people get by it too. But those other people could also be accused of not being vigilant enough. It's sad, you know. It's not a, it's not a joking matter. And as we say, it, 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 we are doing it after the fact. But when everything are unfollow, because before the fact, we never knew all the things that we are, we are getting to know now, you know. But when you think about it, though, think about it objectively. If you have them kind of money, and you, you do your, you know, you do your, you, 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 you check out the, the place where you invest your money in. Yeah? And you see, director son, gone through the door. It's a long time CEO, another prominent Jamaica. Jamaican, gone through the door. And then you hear stories about procedural irregularities. You hear say the regulator by the FSC has supervised the running of this company. Every jack dollar me have gone out of the company. I mean, I want nobody no loyalty with my money, you know. I want my loyalty to my money. Hmm? Talk to it. Talk to the people. <laughs> Talk to it. And tell me what you think. Hmm? Were there enough red flags? I think there were. I think there were. What you think about what you think? <laughs> Sad door. Wickedness.